The Nevada desert in America is the scene of the latest atomic test. International observers come by invitation to join scientists, military and civil defense authorities making a study of the test. A whole town of specially chosen types of buildings with dummies inside them has been erected to study survival chances in an atomic explosion. Called Doom Town, the buildings and their contents will test the effect of the bomb at distances ranging from one to two miles. The extent to which food will be contaminated by radioactivity will also be studied along with the effect of blast on communications. Fully protected cameras concealed inside and outside the buildings will take pictures of the blast scenes. The bomb itself is contained in a device at the top of a tower 500 feet high. Tanks move into the blast area and officers are to occupy trenches only 2,600 yards from the bomb, the closest ever in a test. Night and army personnel with recording equipment wait for zero hour as others check their cameras. And now the bomb, the marvel and the horror of our time is exploded. Inside the Holocaust, cameras record the havoc. After the fireball, the mountainous mushroom rises from a bomb which was only twice the strength of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, a fraction of the explosion a hydrogen bomb can produce. And now, as the dust settles, army personnel dressed in protective clothing move inwards towards the blast center, checking for radioactivity as they go. Experts now say the communication installations could have been quickly repaired in spite of the severity of the shock and blast waves and that indoor concrete shelters could have fully protected anyone even less than a mile away from the bomb. Full reports of the radioactivity surveys are not yet available but the bomb has been said to have produced a very small fallout. Flying glass and furnishings are proved the greatest hazard outside the immediate blast area. Whatever hopeful signs for mankind's chances of survival can be drawn, it must be remembered that a hydrogen bomb today can be 250 times more powerful than this atom bomb. Surely these pictures prove that if humanity is to survive, all nations today must never cease to work for peace.